So before we add any code to our new My First Project project in Team Services, we are going to add a couple of work items. So we go into the work item section and create a new work item uh, and we'll call this a user story. So our user story is as a user I need to stack stuff. So that I can move it around. That's a simple and cheesy user story, but uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to build a simple stack class using test-driven development techniques, and then we'll check that code into source control. So we're going to assign that to ProDataMan. Stack class for stacking objects and strings. Call it a complexity level 3. All right, some basic acceptance criteria. We need to be able to check if the stack is empty, push things onto the stack, peek at things on the stack, and pop things off of the stack. So go ahead and save our user story. And then from our user story, we'll create a new linked work item. And the new linked work item type is going to be a task. And we're going to call it create minimal project structure. See our blog post on creating minimal project structure, but basically here we have to create just enough structure for the projects to compile. Following the TDD rhythm, uh, we're supposed to write our test first, and we're supposed to run the test and see the test fail. Uh, unfortunately, you won't be able to run the test and see it fail unless the classes and methods that it's referencing e exist in at least a minimal form. So we'll create a task for that. We'll also go back to our user story and we'll create another linked work item, another task to write failing tests for stack methods. Now normally I wouldn't put these uh, tasks in the system like this. I'm doing this simply to illustrate the process of the TDD ribbon. Again, these last couple of tasks that I added were simply to illustrate the TDD rhythm. Now I'll create a more real-world task. Now we're going to copy this work item, create a new task, except for this time it'll be called peak.
peak method that returns a string. Copy that. Create a new task. This task would be called pop. Turns a string and removes item from stack. And copy one more time. Create a new task. And this will be the is empty method. Okay, so now we have our user story and our basic tasks. We can add code now to our Visual Studio project and check it in the source control while associating it with each of these developer tasks. Thanks again.